She gives me loving like I ain't ever had To toss me to the curb like a dirty dish rag Say, boys, it's a juice worth the squeeze What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to EWC. We are in Hong Kong. Uh, right now we're in Central. This vlog, we are going to take everyone and look at what's going on with the watch market in Hong Kong, uh, visit some collectors. There's some very, very prominent collections, super famous collectors. Uh, they're bringing some really sick stuff. We're gonna start off with the guys from VRHK. Not everyone was able to make it, but I got to see some really cool friends. So, you know, I invited them right here. We're at Aming's shop. Aming's IG is right here. Uh, and this shop is actually like a cool jewelry shop. He brings in a lot of jewelry from Japan and different parts of the world. Uh, mainly Japanese though, very, very cool stuff. Well, take a look and then uh, we're gonna go to the secret room and, and see if he's there. Jim right here. Say hi, Jim. Hi, how are you? Yeah. Super collector. No, no, no. Oh, with my glasses. No, no, no. <laughs> with your glasses, no. And then we got Justin. Mm -hmm. You know? Um, and oh, yeah. Ming. I'm Ming. Ming. The chairman, huh? The chairman. Look at that, yeah. yeah. Looks like he belongs Hello. in uh, yeah. Miami or Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> Please, uh, if you guys are in Hong Kong, uh, come to his shop, check it out. But yeah, these are the guys that taught me pretty much everything with vintage Rolex. That's how I started off. Once you see their collection, don't ask us if anything is for sale because it's not for sale. Yeah, no, but yeah, this is uh, the shop and then you, I think there's a secret room, right? Yeah. Can we see the secret room? Yeah, sure. Check out this wow, the man cave. Ooh, and cool watches. They come in. Ooh, wow, okay, so yeah, you do see it's different collections. Yeah, you know what? Uh, there's something about me. He always says, condition is everything. You know, he's a, he's a very anal person. You know, condition, it's always gotta be like near perfect for him. If it's not near perfect, He's not gonna touch it. Yeah, he's, he's one of my best friends in Hong Kong and very happy to be here. However, today, we're not gonna focus on his collection. Uh, we're gonna check out Jim's collection as well as Justin's collection. And then, Ming is gonna take us and walk around and see some stuff in Hong Kong, especially the watch shops. Jim is about to open it up. Uh, Woo! All the it's double stack. Oh, uh, no. no? Uh, triples. Tri triple Ooh, stack. Oh, no, it's all, all the vintage. Yeah, where do we start, Jim? We can start from the watches, I think. Okay, let's start from the watches like, first, yes. yes. I think we uh, start from this two. Okay. This is the first Submariner, nine, uh, 1953 and 1954. That's the King, uh, King Sub, the first Submariner. Sub. Yeah. The very first Submariner. Yeah, 369. Yeah. Wow, the 369, yes. Everyone calls it a 369 because yeah. on the dial it'll only say 3, 6, and 9. Yeah. And it's a super dome. This is also the first one. Uh, you'll see it said the Sub Aqua. But Sub Aqua is the name Sub before Samarina. Yes. Yeah. Wow, this is 1953. Yes. It's a little thinner. But this is the Sub Aqua. Yeah. It's a 6204. 6204. This is the wearers of the 369, it's the 5512. It's about 1962, 63, 64. Yeah. I, uh, I, 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 I'm <laughs> speechless. I, I'm totally speechless right now. We have all the 369s here. That's the James Bond. That's yeah. the James Bond. 6538, 1956. Oh, wow. Uh, high radium. Oh, yeah, the high radium. High radium. Yeah, yeah. these are all high radium. So that's why they have the underline cool. to indicate. Yeah. So the this is the change. this is the original James Bond. Yeah, James Bond. Yeah. Yes. And this is the it? first five five one two with the square. Oh yeah. Yeah, the first one. The, the square crown guards. Yeah. Wow, I've never seen this in real yeah. life. This is. And it's uh, got the red triangle too. Yeah. Originally, it's uh, got hundred pieces worldwide, but it's only twenty five pieces now in the world. You like collecting the first series of first series, for, Mark, of one, each, Mark One, Mark One, yeah. all the Mark, Mark Ones, one, right? That's actually like your... I got Mark Two or Three, maybe. But not, <laughs> yeah, not, no, I got all the not, Mark not Ones. Not, not every model. Yeah, I got the Mark Two no, no, and Three. Not every so model. Some, some. Yeah. <laughs> That's the five hundred one. The, the mill yeah. sub. The yes. unit models. These are more of the military ones. Yeah, with the Hudson paper, the miniature issue. 
from yeah. the UK. Yeah. yeah, and also this is the the UK military uh, strap. Yeah, strap. Right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then we have the uh, Mark One. It's a uh, sea dealer. 1968, 69. Yeah. Yes. The pink one. This yeah. is the pink one. Pink is because usually sea dealer is the material. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It, yeah. Usually it's Fade red, out. but this one is the pink. Yeah. Yeah. And the thin case. Yes. Yeah. The thin case. This single red Mark One with the long F. And this is also the Mark One. The Mark One 5513 maximum. Okay, 5513. And this is Mark, Mark One 1016. Oh, 1016. Yeah. It's yes. a very fat front. The fat front, yeah. yes. And it's also yeah. because uh, yeah. 1016 is the 369 yeah. as well, so that's why you like it. And this one is a this one, what is this? small watch. We call it a. Uh, um, you like Sanjay? It's very, very. All the 6244, this one. 6244. Yeah, 1963. Oh, and the last one is a 6542. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the first GMT. Radium thick light yeah. bezel. Very bad, light, yeah. And such a good condition, big light bezel. Oh, this one's crazy, yeah. This one is, this is the best I've seen. Yeah. Uh, I'll put this back. Oh, uh, sure. Yeah. I, yeah. Let me do it. Okay. Oh, one. yeah, yeah. Is there an, oh, you brought more? Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Oh, yeah, okay. I'll tell you more about this one. Yeah, yeah. Just the big one. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, I read the gas back. <laughs> wow! I, I don't even know what to say, Jim. <laughs> we start from the Polyman. Yeah. Yeah. Polyman is uh, we have the six two four one. Six two four one. Uh, six two six two. Yes. And then six two three nine. Yes. Yeah. It's the earliest model. This is yeah, six two three nine. Earliest Daytona. Oh, this one. I have to say, the first Daytona. Yeah. Nineteen sixty three. The first one. Very yeah. first one. Yep. Oh, this is the number one. Yep. Yeah. And it just says Cosmograph on it. Yeah, nice. double three. Yep. Yeah, double three. Yeah. I want to mention it. Uh, this one, the Brad 2, I have the original case, but yeah, uh, sticker. Mm. Yeah. Folks are untouched. Yeah. Even the Brad oh, I haven't yeah. changed. Yeah. This is like yes. uh, yeah. what they call NOS, new old stock. Mm -hmm. Completely untouched. This is like immaculate. Mint. And then... Um, Some colorful... Yeah, yes, they have colorful. Yeah. The, like they it, call these yeah. the, the beaches. Yeah. Very yeah. special dials. Exactly. They're very collectible now. Very, yeah. very expensive. Very expensive. Very colorful. Yeah. yeah. The, full the holder. Yeah. yeah. This is the uh, the leopard, right? Exactly, yeah. This is very interesting too. Mm -hmm. The amber colored gems, yeah. And then you have the John Mayer. This one's good. Yeah, and the ice. Yeah. And the ice. Yeah. 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 Beautiful collection, beautiful Daytona collection. Yeah. yeah, I know you probably have more. <laughs> yeah, this is a nice selection that he brought. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Crazy. Yeah. That's all I can say. Crazy. Okay, so what what are these? Oh, this is crazy uh, collection. Chinese, we call it Da Long Dai, Big Dragon. This is very rare. It's uh, from Super. 1956, 57 only. Yeah. And the super big logo, yeah, and it just looks so much cooler because when you open yeah. it up, mm -hmm. you see that? Yeah, this is the mat. Yeah. Uh, that's so cool. This is the mat, and then we have the shiny, all right? Yeah, on, this both, on both sides. Yeah, you can compare if you want, yeah. the mat and the shiny. Yeah, these are very expensive. Yeah, yeah, it is. For bracelets, these exactly. are very, exactly. very expensive now. Yeah. This is where we wear for Daytona. It's a 7 one n uh, yeah, the equally rare. Why, rare. Is, why is the 7 one any most common? Uh, they make it like one year only. Ah, yeah. I see. Maybe nine months. Yeah. Wow. Some uh, uh, These are order. more modern ones. Yeah. Right? V, v, uh, 80, 580. Now you know what a real super collector <laughs> no, no, is like and what yeah. they collect. Passion and fashion. Yeah. Passion and fashion, I like that. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Jim. Thank you so much, Jim. Appreciate it's it. September. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And uh, next up, Justin. We have another member from VR Hong Kong, uh, Justin. Uh, yeah, man, welcome to EWC <laughs> Vlog. Thanks for having me. Yeah, no, 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 he's got a beautiful collection as well. And well, where, do you, how do you, where do you want to start? Value-wise or, or in terms of my choice, I, I, I don't know. Well, how about, what was, the, what was the, where did you start from? I think I would say this, this, this is one of my first uh, pieces that I got in my collection. This is a 5512 Submariner. These are considered much more uh, price 
reasonable. Right? Yes. These Back are, then when I started. Exactly. A lot of people start with the 5512 or the 5513. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So this particular model is a 5512 uh, Maxi Mark 1 dial. Yeah, the Maxi would mean the, the loom. Yeah, the loom. Is, uh, it's, it's bigger. bigger. That's why they call it the Maxi. And there's an engraving in the back. Yeah. You are the sunshine in our lives. Love mom and dad. Oh, that's cute. I guess he needed money. <laughs> Peace out, mom and dad. I need that cash. <laughs> okay, and then what's the next one? Um, then I started moving on to the GMT. Yeah, I think most people do that. But these two are actually... Uh, they're a tropical. Yeah, they both are tropical. They're both tropical, wow. And the bezel's a little different too. This one's more faded. This one's more red. Yeah. And then what's after? Um, and then I kind of move on to the the gilt dial one. Yeah, the gilt dials. So this is another uh, submarine, but this is the underlying version. And then for all watch enthusiasts, I think um, chronographs are must have. So that's why when I started to look at Daytona. Yeah. So I have the six two six two point new one. Yes. And then beautiful. the six two six three uh, gold Daytona. Yeah. That's and so then sexy. Okay, and then, uh, and then what's next? I moved on to some other brands as well, so yeah. for example, the Hoyers. That I, yeah, I, mean, I the, see you the, like the Hoyers. The two Hoyers. And I have a feeling um, these mesh style bracelets will be back in fashion very soon. You heard it here first on EWC. Different style integrated bracelets. Be on the lookout for that. This is the most recent purchase okay. I made from uh, And it's vintage year. as well. Yeah, it's uh, Movado. Movado, what year is this? 1960, I think. Okay. Yeah. But well, this is a cool Movado. Yeah. It has, uh, they have two different kind of models. One with the tachymeter, so there's like yeah. outer track. Yes. And there's one without. Yeah, but so I find the one that has the tachymeter, it's, uh, it's a lot nicer. Yeah. And then this one? This one is the Langer. Langer yeah. 1815 5 back uh, chronograph. Okay. This one is like more modern. Yeah, it's, it's uh, actually more than watch. But then the case back is just crazy. Yeah, it's beautiful. You can see all the levels and the layers. But this is a cool chrono too. Yeah. So you do like your chronos. That's why like, I see a chrono theme in here. But uh, yeah, thank you so much for showing us part of your vintage collection. Yeah, we're going to go uh, walk around with the vintage Rolex guys. So keep watching. London Watch in Hong Kong. Uh, one of the bigger stores here. Uh, let's see what they've got. This is uh, some of Kevin's personal collection. Uh, some, some might be for sale. You know, if you, uh, if you guys see anything here that's interesting, you guys can hit up uh, London Watch. In Hong Kong. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, um, yeah it's uh, mind blowing. And uh, yeah, I think we gotta get going. Okay, uh, so we just got finished uh, Hong Kong area. The next part of vlog, I will be checking out Kinsman. And they're run by two brothers, good friends as well. After we check out Kinsman, we will have part two of EWC in Hong Kong. So Continue watching, there's so much stuff here. There's so much going on. So many watches, so many collectors. Just, I'm just mind blown today. So, yeah, I'm gonna get some rest. I need to rest my mind. And uh, I'm gonna go check out Shoyo and Shoki tomorrow. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so Shoyo's taking me to uh, his office, we're gonna check things out, yeah. and then uh, all right, we're gonna go in now. <laughs> okay, heading up to his office, we'll see you. All right, here we are. Kinsman. Welcome to the uh, all right. Abode. Oh man, I really like this one. It's such an interesting color too. It's like a gray blue. Oh, what else do you have? Oh, wow. That is bling the fuck out. Bling the fuck out? Yeah. Art Basel. The 5719. It's the 5719. Look at those baguettes. Yeah, baguettes. Even on the bracelet. Wow, this is fucking sick. The dial. Factory. It's all factory. Yeah, this is, this is legit bling. I have never seen this. With emeralds. 
And like emerald pinballs. Yeah, this is sick. What do you think about RM right now? Well, I mean, RM is definitely one of the strongest brands in the market right now. Yeah. Um, I think, uh, you know, with everything dropping, um, people start to look for liquidity. So yeah. So in the market, I would say RM is definitely one of the most liquid timepieces in the market at the yeah. moment. Yeah. But is, is the price like stabilized? I would sort of. say the price is right now like pretty much stabilized. Um, the premiums aren't as high as it was before, so we start to see a lot more movement in the secondary market. Yeah, okay. So, well, that's here's Shoki. Hi. What's up, man? So, up? What, do you, what do you guys like uh, move the most in Hong Kong? In Hong Kong, I think we move uh, modern watches the most. Modern, yeah. Yeah. So, anything that. Uh, that is rare at the moment. I think yeah. we move them quite frequently. Okay, cool. So, how's the market overall, though, in general, like in in, in Hong Kong? The market's uh, picking back up again. Picking back up, yeah. I think uh, we see a lot more movement now than we did probably about six months ago. You know, me and my brother, we like collecting other things. So, you know, other than just watches, we like to collect art, sneakers, any sort of other collectibles. And so, yeah, we're trying to just sort of encapsulate everything in one umbrella and sort of offer it as like a lifestyle brand. Yeah, no, that's cool. So, I mean, yeah, I guess that's what we're trying to do as well. Yeah. That's what we're trying to do. That's what yeah. you guys are trying to do, Kinsman. All right, so maybe we should do like some type of... Well, we'll figure something out. We That'll should do some type of collab or some type of relationship sure. with, with EWC and, and EMC. Let's do it. Yeah, Let's man. This is the 6262 Cherry. Both are uh, transitional sort of uh, vintage Daytona references. So this is a 5531R. World time minute repeater, but this is of course a, a special edition. As you can see on the dial, it's uh, basically a bird's eye view map of Geneva. Oh wow, yeah, that's right. Limited to five pieces. Oh shit. Then you have um, the big boy. Yeah. Yep. Repeater, beautiful enamel dial with a color trial pattern. Yeah. It's another so. high complication piece. It's a perpetual calendar, split seconds, chronograph with mono pusher. Yeah, thanks for, uh, thanks for showing me around your no spot. Worries, and, man. Uh, Always a pleasure. Yeah, thank you.